Hi. Um, as I said in my last video, I was going to show you how to make eyes. So I'm going to show you how to make these eyes right here today. As you turn the sculpture, you can see that the eyes seem to follow you wherever they go, which is kind of neat about these. Okay. Okay, I'm going to start out with an index card. You can use any kind of white paper. You just want a nice, bright white paper. And then I've got these little glass cabochons. They're the size of the eyes that I want to make. I'll um, put a link for you so that you can get them yourself. Then I have this little tube. This is a little copper tube. You can get tubing at um, the hardware store. And uh, this is going to be the size of the iris. And then I have a stamp pad. This is a black stamp pad. This is just a little container with a sponge in it and some water. That's just so that I can clean my tube after I use it and then a towel so I can dry it. Okay, now I'm going to use the tube as a stamp. So I'm going to just tap it into the stamp pad and then onto the white paper. And there's one iris. And I'm going to do a few of them because sometimes I mess up and so I want to have multiples. So I'm going to do six. And then you want to clean off your tube right away so that you don't stain it. Okay, now this is the little glass cabochon. And I'm going to lay it over top so you can kind of see how big the iris will be in the glass eye. There you can see it. Okay, now um, we're going to color it and we need some acrylic paint. I have black. I have a blue color here and we also are going to use white. Just regular old cheap acrylic paint. Nothing fancy. And then I have a ball stylus tool. This has two size balls on it. Um, it's a little bit smaller than the iris and then the other side is even smaller than that. So I'm going to start with the first color, which is blue. And um, this is just a little block that I made I use for all kinds of things. I'm just going to use it so it can hold my cap. Okay, I just dip it into the paint. And then because it's a ball, it kind of feels like I'm using a pen. So I just... Uh, paint into the little circle, the light blues. I do that with all of them. Okay, I'm going to dry these real quick with my heat tool. You don't have to do that. I'm just doing it for the video so that uh, you don't have to wait so long while everything's drying. But if you're in a hurry like me, it doesn't take long, just a couple seconds, and then it's dry. Okay, now we're going to add the pupils. We use the black acrylic paint, and we're going to use the ball stylus for this. You're going to use the smaller of the two ends. And you want to try and line the pupil up right into the very center of the iris. Make sure you clean your stylus after you use it.
here you can see what they look like. Pretty cool. Okay, now we're going to do the light spot on the eyes. That's what makes the eyes come alive. And I'm using a very small paintbrush. And um, I'll put a link where you can get these little brushes too. We're going to use the white paint. And you want to use the brush instead of like a needle. You might be tempted to use a needle, but the needle doesn't, uh, because it's such a fine point, it... Um, it almost leaves like a little pin prick in the center, so you don't want to do that. You want to use a brush for this. So you just want to add one little dot to each of the irises, and that will make it look like it's wet. Okay, now you can see what they look like with the little dot on them. Okay, now we're going to um, use some super glue. Now this is Loctite and it's Ultra Gel Control. You want to get the Ultra Gel Control because it gives you like about, uh, I don't know, 10-15 seconds before it actually sticks. And it is a gel, so that's nice. Okay, and then you want your glass cabochons and you want to make sure that they all, they look good and they're all the same size, which they will be, but sometimes some are thicker than others. Okay, and you're going to take your super glue and you're going to put it directly over top of one of the irises. Oh, not this one though. That one I made a mistake on. It's, it's messed up. So we're going to skip that one. Now I just dab enough on there so that, so that it's covering the iris. And when you take your cabochon and you put it over top, if you don't push down, you have a little bit of time to move it around and get it centered. When you get it exactly where you want it, then you push it down. And once you push it down, it's not moving anymore. It's permanent then. So I'll do that for these last three. I'll speed that up so you don't have to watch me trying to line them up so long. And here's what they look like once they're all glued down. Pretty neat. Didn't take too long either. Okay, now what I do with my eyes after that is I have these nice little containers. These are solo cups. I like to keep them in the cup so that um, I can separate the different kinds. And I cut them off the paper, but I leave them in pairs of two. That way I've always got a pair of eyes. And I know I've made them at the same time so that they will match up nice. Okay, now when you're ready to use them, you just pull out a pair of eyes and you're going to use a very small pair of scissors. These are my embroidery scissors. And you're going to cut the paper off real close around the cabochon. And there they are. They're ready to be used. Uh, you don't have to heat set them. You don't have to do anything. Just put them right in your 
sculpture. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.